Get ready for an unprecedented cosmic event. Betelgeuse, the massive red supergiant star, is emitting signals that have left astronomers both intrigued and alarmed. Recent observations, using the James Webb Space Telescope, have uncovered strange and potentially ominous changes in Betelgeuse, sparking concerns that this colossal star may be on the verge of a spectacular explosion. Prominent scientist, Brian Cox has issued a stern warning. We may be on the brink of witnessing a supernova, so massive that it could alter our night sky forever. But how did we reach this point? And what do these changes mean for our understanding of the universe? In the vastness of space, stars live, evolve, and die in astonishing ways. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant located in the constellation of Orion, has captured the attention of both scientists and stargazers for centuries. This ancient star, with its reddish glow and fluctuating brightness, has always been an object of fascination. However, recent developments have heightened both interest and concern, as Betelgeuse appears to be nearing a pivotal moment in its cosmic life. Betelgeuse is a colossal star, approximately 900 times larger than our Sun. To grasp its size, imagine replacing our Sun with Betelgeuse's surface would extend beyond the orbit of Mars, enveloping Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The sheer enormity of this star defies human comprehension, and its size also serves as an indicator of its current stage in the stellar life cycle. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is in the final phase of its life, having exhausted its hydrogen fuel and now converting helium into heavier elements. This process is marked by the star, expanding and cooling a natural progression in the life of a massive star, believed to be between 8 and 8.5 million years old. Betelgeuse has undergone dramatic changes over millions of years to reach its current state as a red giant. The reddish hue that makes Betelgeuse so recognizable is a direct result of its surface temperature, which is significantly cooler than that of stars like our Sun. While the Sun's surface temperature is around 5,500 Kelvin, Betelgeuse's surface temperature is much lower approximately 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature causes Bet to emit light at a wavelength that appears red to our eyes. The color change is not just a matter of appearance, it provides vital clues about the physical state of the star and the processes occurring within its vast, gaseous envelope. Fascinating is that Betelgeuse has not always appeared red. Historical records indicate that Betelgeuse was once described as yellow. During the Roman and Chinese eras, about 2000 years ago, the star was said to be yellow, but by the 9th century, Arab astronomers were recording it as red. This shift in Color over the course of human history reveals how Betelgeuse has evolved over time, providing a rare glimpse into the life of a star. Betelgeuse's brightness is another point of intrigue. The star is classified as a variable star, meaning its brightness fluctuates regularly. It follows a short cycle of about 400 days, during which its brightness increases and decreases, as well as a longer cycle that lasts roughly five years. The star's behavior has fascinated scientists and skywatchers for centuries. As early as 1836, Sir John Herschel documented Betelgeuse's cycles. Aboriginal stories may reference the star's changes from even earlier periods. However, Betelgeuse's brightness does not always follow a predictable pattern. Unlike many stars that dim and brighten in regular intervals, Betelgeuse can sometimes deviate from this norm, suggesting complex and poorly understood processes within its immense structure. This irregular behavior has baffled scientists and made Betelgeuse one of the most studied stars in the night sky. One of the most recent and mysterious episodes in Betelgeuse's long life is the so-called Great Dimming Event. In late 2019, astronomers and stargazers were surprised to see Betelgeuse's brightness plummet in an unexpected and dramatic fashion. Normally one of the brightest stars in the night sky, Betelgeuse began to dim at an alarming rate of 0.01 magnitude per day. By February 2020, Betelgeuse was at its faintest recorded brightness, a star that could typically be seen with the naked eye even in areas with significant light pollution had grown noticeably dimmer, prompting worldwide speculation and excitement. The great dimming sparked immediate concern that Betelgeuse might be on the verge of a supernova catastrophic explosion that marks the death of a star. However, one complicating factor in studying Betelgeuse is the time it takes for the star's light to reach Earth. Betelgeuse is located approximately 654 light-years away, meaning that when we observe the star, we are seeing it as it was 654 years ago. This time lag makes it difficult to predict and monitor rapid changes in Betelgeuse's behavior in real time. Despite this challenge, 
the great dimming event has provided astronomers with a rare opportunity to study Betelgeuse up close. Andrea Dupree, deputy director of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, led a team of researchers who closely observed Betelgeuse's changing appearance during this time. Their three-year study, using the Hubble Space Telescope, focused on the star's outer atmosphere and the movement of material within it. Their findings were astonishing. Using Hubble's ultraviolet light sensitivity, the team was able to detect material moving from Betelgeuse's surface into its atmosphere at speeds of up to 200,000 miles per hour. This material, traveling millions of miles away from the star, eventually formed a massive dust cloud. It was this dust cloud that caused Betelgeuse to dim so dramatically for three months. Dupree and her team hypothesized that an unusually large amount of material had been ejected from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere, leading to the rapid dimming. The sheer scale of this mass loss was entirely unexpected. Astronomers have studied variable stars and red supergiants for decades. But what they observed in Betelgeuse during the great dimming event defied most existing models. The ejection was massive not just in volume, but in the speed and density of the material hurled into space. It seemed as if Betelgeuse, in a moment of violent instability, had shed part of its outer layers in a single explosive event. This unusual behavior led many in the scientific community to rethink what they knew about stellar evolution, especially during the late stages of a supergiant star's life. Typically, mass loss in such stars occurs over long periods through a steady solar wind-like process. But Betelgeuse's rapid and intense ejection didn't fit that mold. It hinted at internal convulsions, perhaps deep within its core that might signal a more imminent change. Could this massive ejection be a precursor to a supernova? The question quickly gained traction. While it's impossible to observe what's happening in real time inside Betelgeuse's core due to the light year distance, these external signs might be clues. In stellar physics, sudden and large-scale mass loss can precede catastrophic core collapse in some models. When a massive star like Betelgeuse can no longer sustain the nuclear fusion reactions at its core, gravity takes over. The core collapses within seconds producing a violent supernova explosion that hurls outer layers into space and creates a brief, intensely bright burst of light dot was Betelgeuse preparing for such an event. While no definitive answer exists yet, the possibility has stirred both excitement and caution. Astronomers have warned against jumping to conclusions, emphasizing that Betelgeuse could still have tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of years left. However, the dramatic Ejection of material remains a powerful reminder that we are observing a star in the turbulent final chapters of its life. If Betelgeuse were to go supernova in our lifetime, it would be nothing short of spectacular. At approximately 654 light-years from Earth, it is close enough that such an explosion would not only be visible to the naked eye, but would likely shine, brighter than the full moon. For weeks, or even months, Betelgeuse would dominate the night sky, casting shadows at night and potentially being visible even during the day. This celestial event would become one of the most significant astronomical occurrences in human history. Unlike distant supernovas seen only through telescopes, this one would unfold within our cosmic neighborhood. Ancient civilizations once looked up at Betelgeuse and marveled at its red glow, imagined their awe if it had erupted then. Now, with modern instruments, scientists would be able to monitor the entire life cycle of the supernova from core collapse to the shockwave, to the formation of a neutron star or possibly even a black hole. Despite its proximity, a Betelgeuse supernova would pose no danger to life on Earth. The star is far enough away that harmful radiation, like gamma rays, would be too weak to affect us. What it would offer instead is an unprecedented scientific opportunity, a front row seat to one of the universe's most powerful processes, that this rare cosmic spectacle would not only deepen our understanding of stellar death, but could help answer some of astronomy's biggest questions like how elements are forged in supernova and dispersed into space, or how such explosions affect the evolution of galaxies. In many ways, Betelgeuse has become a symbol of the universe's unpredictability. Massive, living furnace, slowly unraveling in a cosmic dance, we've only just begun to understand. Its future may remain uncertain. But one thing is clear. The star has reminded humanity how dynamic, volatile, and awe-inspiring the cosmos truly is. It would provide humanity with a once-in-a-lifetime chance to witness a supernova up close and event that could reshape our understanding of stellar evolution. However, despite the dramatic changes in Betelgeuse, 
scientists remain cautious about predicting an imminent explosion. Betelgeuse's behavior, while unusual, may simply be part of its complex and lengthy life cycle as a red supergiant. Several theories have been proposed to explain Betelgeuse's recent activity. Some suggest that the star is experiencing a rare phase of instability as it nears the end of its life. Others believe that the Great Dimming was simply a one-time event caused by a particularly large dust cloud. Regardless of the explanation, Betelgeuse remains a mystery, and its future is uncertain. For now, astronomers continued to monitor Betelgeuse closely, using advanced telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope to gather more data. Whether or not Betelgeuse will soon explode, one thing is certain. This colossal star will continue to captivate and mystify us as we try to unravel the secrets of the cosmos. Let me know what you think in the comments box. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell to receive any content like this. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.